Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a new flavor of snack that I found here in Japan. And it's the uh, series of chocolates that I've showed you guys before, the Chiroro Choco. And they always have so many fun and unique different flavors. And this one actually was one that came out more kind of like in the fall, I think. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I gotta get to that. And I never did. But that turned out to be a good thing because in the end, I got to buy it for 30% off. <laughs> That's always good, right? You wait too long and then things get cheaper. So uh, this little sticker here tells me that it's 30% off. So it's only like, you know, 70 yen, which is pretty good price. That's, that's, you can't beat that. Usually it's 100 yen. It's still really cheap, but uh, still a good deal for sure. And um, as you could tell here, this is the special apple chocolate. Now, uh, this is one of the kind of snack. Now, they have, they've done this with Kit Kat before too, where they uh, tell you to, uh, you know, put it in your toaster oven and then it will look different and taste slightly different maybe too. Um, certainly more yummy to eat it when it's warm. There's the before picture and the after. So I'll be looking forward to kind of opening this up and giving it a try and showing you guys what it's like. So, um, but uh, it's not the Daiso versions of chocolates. These ones are the ones that are just available like at grocery stores and stuff, but um, it's, it's good. So we'll open it up here and I'll see how many I think if I remember right, there's, yeah, there's uh, seven in here. Yeah, so uh, they're all the same flavor and um, you just open them up here. I'll go ahead and try one before we cook it and see what it's like. You can see it's just this nice little yellow color and you could tell there's probably like a little bit of something crispy down there at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and see what it tastes like here um, before, we, before we cook it. Oh, well, that's really good. That's got like a nice, uh, you know, apple-y taste to it with a little bit of crunch. You can kind of see there in the middle, there's like um, some biscuit kind of that's in there too to add another extra layer of crunchiness. Definitely has an apple pie kind of feel to it. So it'll be interesting to go ahead and try to toast them up and I'll show you guys what they look like here uh, in a few minutes. So hold on a second while I go do that really quick here. So I went ahead and took the remaining ones and toasted them in my toaster. Now, you do need to have like a toaster like we have in Japan, of course. So uh, the instructions show here that you're supposed to, you know, put them all on a piece of tin foil. And when you toast them, look at them. They look so cute. They've got this cute little like burned edges to them. And the top kind of got bubbly <laughs> and the bottom melted and got a little like showed some of the crunchiness there at the bottom more. So... Uh, kind of fun to take normal snacks like this and, and heat them up. Uh, pretty popular to do that with like chocolate chip cookies and stuff here. People like to do that. Um, it makes it really kind of like a little different kind of tasty snack. Uh, so I'll go ahead and see what it tastes like here. Wow, that like crumbles in my mouth. It's so warm. <laughs> it's like really yummy. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, no, good idea to toast it. It tastes really good, definitely and has that nice kind of, um, you know, it's really uh, gooey in the middle a little bit. So that's that's really cool. Uh, yeah, and it, it's a kind of a fun, different thing to do with your chocolate. You know, you never knew you could do that, right? You could toast it up and make your own little baked apple chocolates here. <laughs> so uh, fun to eat them, you know, either way. If you don't want to go to the trouble of, you know, toasting them up, you don't have to, but I would recommend it. I think they taste a lot better. But like I mentioned, you do need to make sure that you, you know, have the kind of toaster oven that we have. You can't just, you, you don't pop them into a pop-up toaster oven. That'd be weird. Uh, but, you know, have the ones like we have here. So, and they recommend, of course, to try to eat it as soon as you can after toasting it because it'll be nice and yummy. So, yeah, um, I'll have some more fun things like this to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.